analyzing Zendesk ticket sentiment with AI. If you're one of those people that finds the Zendesk AI upgrades as being too expensive and you'd like some alternatives, then this tutorial is for you. Now, if you can see my screen, I've opened an account with NA10. If you don't know what that is, you should maybe get an account, just go to NA10, and it is a workflow automation software or system that you can plug in a lot of AI tools. It's just mainly focused on AI. So after I've created my account, I go here to create workflow at the top, right? And I'm gonna call this one, this workflow, I'm gonna call it sentiment. Analyzer Zanas. All right, um, there's a million ways of doing this. There's other ways of doing this. I just like this new tool and I like to play around with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze the sentiment of a ticket that is coming from an email channel. There's a lot of channels that Zanas supports. There's email, there's phone, there's chat, there's text, there's social media, there's a plethora of them. The live support channels for chats, like which includes chats, which includes the bot, which includes social media, anything, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, you do not get access to from Zendesk directly because the messaging API is off limits because Zendesk wants to sell you their advanced AI feature and you shouldn't use other ones. But uh, either way, you can still use the classic API, amongst which is the email channel. What you can do with this is you bypass Zendesk anyway. So you just, for example, in here, the first step is you have to create a trigger. Now you can trigger manually on an app event or on a schedule, on a webhook call. This can also work very well on a form submission if you use forms, for example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to other ways and I'm going to choose an email trigger, EMOP. Think about it. In order to offer support via email in Zenesk, you have to connect your email address. I mean, if you want that, I recommend it for customer experience purposes. If people see Zenesk in their uh, support at your company.zenesk.com, they're going to see Zenesk and they're like, meh, what is that? I don't, I don't trust it. Sounds like spam. I'm going to delete it. Mark it as spam. Bye. So what you do when you connect your email address, whenever you receive an email in your inbox, it sends a copy to Zendesk, right? And you have that all configured and you can answer from the same email address. Well, you can configure that email inbox to come in here as well. You analyze the sentiment and then you update the ticket that was created in Zendesk. It might sound complicated, but you'll see how intuitive this is when I start building it out. And I'm going to do that right now. So my trigger is my email, okay? So what I need to do here is I need to create a new credential. Now, this new credential means that I have to add my user password, host, my port, my SSL, so my EMOP. So whatever email you have and what your credentials are, you need to add them here. So an email comes in, this can mark it as a red or just do nothing, just read the email and that's it. And then it passes that over to an AI agent. All right, so I'm going to leave the trigger as it is. You can figure this from your own email address. Now, the next step is going to be either an AI or an an action build an AI or flow, you can do so many things, but I'm just going to go with AI and I'm going to choose an AI agent and I'm going to tell you in a quick second what that means. All right, so this is my AI agent and I have to connect to it a chat model. Now, I don't know if you're a big buff on uh, chat models, but you can use from the plethora that are out there. Some of them are free, some of them are more reliable than others. So there's Anthropic, there's Azure, there's DeepSeek, never. There's Gemini, there's Grok, there's Mistral, Olama, blah, blah. I'm going to choose OpenAI because this is what we use. I already have my ChatGPT connected, but if you don't, you create a new credential and you put the API key here. Look, this is not your standard, uh, I use ChatGPT. No, you don't connect that one. You connect to platform.openai. I'm going to open this one. And in here, you go to the top right where you see this cogwheel settings. Go in API keys and you create a new secret key. And you give it a name. I'm not going to do it because I already have so many. But anyway, it gives you a secret key. You come back, you paste it in here, and then you save. You click save here at the top. And you're done, that's it. And then you choose your model. And in this case, chat to 4.1 mini, this is super sufficient for what I needed. I don't need the advanced reasoning ones, this is fine. So depending on what um, model you use, it's obviously, if it needs advanced reasoning, it costs more because it processes more information. If you need something light, which is this one, 4.1 mini, it's perfect. You don't need more, it's just read some text. So I've added my chat model here, that's perfect. And then I go to memory. Now in memory, I'm just going to click uh, simple memory because I don't need much. And this one is important. Context, window length. It's how many back and forth you have with the AI in order for it to remember. Five is 
pretty low. I'm going to put 10. So it remembers the past 10 interactions back and forth. So it remembers what the conversation is about. So now the most important bit is going to be to connect your Zendesk. Look, in tools, so I'm going to give my AI agent a tool. All right, the tool means that I give it, I can give it a bunch of tools. Look, I can give it uh, another flow in an A10. I can give a coding tool, like to process the information with some code that I've written, an HTTP request, and then I have a plethora of vector stores and other tools. Look, and if you can just look here, you see you have, um, you know, you have Azure, you have Airtable, uh, you have Asana, this is just for A, AWS, and then I go to B, Brevo, Bubble, Billy Tool, oh my god, and then there's Cloudflare, CoinGecko, I can give it a calculator, I can give it so much stuff. So look, I'm just going to look for Zendesk in here, because it is in here, Zendesk tool, consume Zendesk API, yep. Now in here, I already have my Zendesk connected, but you go to create new credentials, you put API token, and then you go to your Zendesk, look, I'm going to open mine, and much in the same way as with OpenAI, you go to admin center and you generate an API key. Look, it's going to be apps and integrations. I'm going to go to APIs and I'm going to go to API tokens. I'm going to click add API token. I'll give it a name. Da -da -da. I'll click save. It generates a code for me. I copy that one. I come here. I paste it in here. API token. I put my subdomain. Let's just put the email subdomain. This one is mine. My email uh, info at roca. Roca.work. This is where you can find this, by the way, if you need help with this stuff. Uh, you paste in the API key and then you click save. I'm not going to do that because I've created so many already and I don't want to create such a mess anyway. All right. So I have already connected my Zendesk account. It's going to appear like this. If you do or follow all these steps it's going to be easy peasy so set automatically i'll leave it as it is so resource i can have ticket ticket field user organization or custom api call i'm going to leave for ticket what i want to do is either create a ticket delete a ticket get a ticket get many recover update i want to update a ticket update and ticket id it asks me like what ticket id do you want me to update so what i'm going to do i'm going to click this uh star here i'm going to let the model define this what this means is i need to give it an instruction on what to do so modify the ticket id that has the requester stirs email address and the most recent ticket they've opened as that will represent the ticket they've opened in Zendesk. Right, so this is me giving it an instruction. The AI should choose its own ticket ID in Zendesk that it needs to update, right? So I wanted to update the sentiment of a ticket. I don't want it to tell it what ticket ID because I don't know it yet, right? The ticket has been created in Zendesk. I don't know, I uh, in here I, I just sent a copy of the email, so I don't know what the ticket ID is going to be. So I'm going to let the model decide what ticket that ID that is going to be based on the requester's email address and the most recent ticket, right? Because that makes sense. It's going to be the most recent ticket they open. So that must be it. All right, so I want to update some properties. I'm going to add a field. Look, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose custom fields. And if I go here and I click add custom field, I'm going to choose one of the custom tickets inside my Zendesk. And I'm going to type sentiment. And this is a ticket field, a custom ticket field that I have created already in Zendesk. I click it, value. No value yet. I'm going to go let the model define. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to give it some instructions on what it should do. Uh, fill in the sentiment of the customer's tone, either neutral, negative, or positive. So what it's going to do is going to analyze the ticket and it's going to fill in the sentiment of the customer's tone, neutral, negative, or positive, or pissed. Why not? I wanna add some fun to this. All right, so now I've defined what my model should do. I have defined the chat model, I have defined the memory, I have given it a tool, what to do in Xena. So now I need to do is to give a prompt to my AI agent, because I wanna tell it what it is. So you are a, a helpful assistant that receives emails from clients and analyzes ticket sentiment and updates that sentiment in Zendesk for human customer service agents to help solve requests. So I have given some instructions, some helpful instructions to my uh, agent, my AI agent. So it knows exactly what to do, right? So it, my AI agent now has a prompt and it knows what it should do or what its purpose it should be. I give it a chat model that analyzes the ticket. Then I give it a memory so it remembers conversation. And then I give it a tool. 
what I need wanted to do. I wanted to update the ticket based on what it reads in that ticket. Okay, so yeah, what's missing from this thing is for me to save it, of course, and then I need to connect my email. So this is all that it needs. It needs to have an email connected. And I'm not going to do that because you need to fill out your email in here. And uh, if you need help, uh, there's an email in the description. There is a link to our website. And uh, my name is Dominic, customer experience guy, 15 years of experience, 12 years as a Zendesk guy, Zendesk uh, expert. We are a customer experience agency. We are a Zendesk partner. And uh, this is all we do. We love AI and Zendesk. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.